I live in Houston, Texas, in the South. So I love your city because I was telling the brother Gulfur earlier, our city is flat like a pancake. Okay, but your city have all these mountains, just amazing. You stay with us. Uh, huh? You stay with us. <laughs> in so, in, te- in, in the South, they, they love a lot to have the codfish. And codfish don't grow in the Gulf of Mexico. So they used to bring them from up north in Maine and, you know, in, in the northeast. So a guy in Louisiana used to bring the codfish down to the south. And he would put it in a, first it was frozen, nobody liked it. He put it in a tanker, he wanted to make it fresh. But by the time they arrived to the south, the fish not moving, so it was like very, very, uh, uh, the taste was very bad because it just so uh, uh, sitting there, not moving around, and, and the muscle became so relaxed, and the fish tastes terrible. So he, he's smart. You know what he did? He put in the tanker catfish. They are natural predators to codfish. So the whole entire trip, any catfish move, the whole school of the codfish start moving around. All trip, they're so alert. By the time they arrived down to the south, they were so fresh as if you just picked them up from the ocean. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala threw in your life catfish here and there. It to keep you alive, to keep you fresh, to keep you strong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never decreed upon us anything except what is good for us. And don't worry. فَإِنَّ النَّاسِ يُبْتَلَوْنَ عَلَىٰ قَدْرِ إِيمَانِهِمْ كَمَا قَالَ النَّبِي صلى الله عليه The people will be tested according to their faith. Allah knows how much exactly you can take. He will never put you in a struggle that He knows you can take. But people grow and that's something, this is the attitude that you need to, to know.